Hello everyone and welcome to Nalitech Studio. So today we have a question from Andu or Undo. Please forgive me if I didn't get that right. And they want us to see if Akikad can model this volute stair. So thank you for this question. So first we need to understand what a volute stair is. And for that, I recommend you visit this site. This is carpentry.com. The link is in the description below. So you can go there, see through. And in here, Jed tries to explain how the volute stair is actually done in real life. It's really a good read. You can go ahead and check it. So in there you discover we have two kinds of volutes. We have the flat volute and the ascending volute. So the flat volute, the rail comes straight and is flattened out immediately. But for this ascending volute, we have it coming in and it has a slight change before it is flattened out. And we're going to learn just how to do it. So I recommend that site. Go ahead and check it out where he explains to you uh, from actually manually drawing it to finally realizing it in real life, which I believe is really important to have that understanding as a designer who is going to be drawing it. You need to have a basic understanding of how it is actually accomplished in real life. So let's get started with this video. I have done some renders using Twinmotion and Archicad and I am pretty impressed at what Archicad has done. So this is a flat volute as seen from above and you can see that it's not pretty perfect because uh, it appears as if it has a crack through but um, i still think that this is a good one you can have and from underneath here it really looks beautiful so that's the flat volute and for the ascending volute we do we do have this nice thing that uh, coils around on either sides and it looks good from plan and they do look similar in plan because they use the same plan but um, what changes is from the side view you start to look at that ascending region which I'm glad we can be able to do in Archicad but doesn't really look good and I'll show you why it is pretty difficult to do this to smooth this out in Archicad and I do wish that it were possible to make a better volute and hopefully with the revisions of the railing tool we shall be able to make this thing better and first of all jed tells us that um the volute seems to be like the hardest part of the stair but it doesn't have to be not if we start with a good drawing so let's begin by drawing it All right, so we need to make decisions about the dimensions of our volute. So let's go to document and pick align and begin to draw. So I'm gonna make my railing about 80 millimeters and I need to get the midpoint. Let me use a guideline for that. I get a midpoint. I think I'm gonna use a center line, which is a double dash. I'll change the color such that it is easy to be seen. And this is what it looks like. I really don't like how it looks like right now. I think I can reduce the space. It change this line, the double dash. So I can go to options, element attributes and lines. And in here, I can make this a little bit smaller. Let me scale it down. Yeah, you can make this one about two, this one about like 0 0.5, this one 0.2 and 0 0.2. I just need it to be pretty small because I'm going to be working on a small scale. So I'll say okay. So this looks a bit better in terms of scale because I'm going to work on something smaller. We can even chop off part of this we don't need so we are looking at the footing or of the straight rail so let's draw 
a guideline so we will have our value to come around here in this in this region so we will use this one as this right as this line type let's use that one we also need to determine how big the railing should be you need to be conscious about the size because you don't want it to be too big to look like a dinner table as as jed explains or too small i'm gonna make mine close to a foot that will be about 150 as the radius and actually let's use a another color such that you we see how to draw this so the very first one is we are using the maximum radius that we want to use i have used 150 and we will sweep it across 90 degrees so we have that so let's draw so this is the first the very first radius so let's also continue the center line for this we pick the double dash and go back to the red pen, go in and draw it in. So we have this 90 degree sweep. What happens is that the radius changes. So we do not have the same radius again. So the radius reduces by about an inch, which is about 25 millimeters. So we will drop it by 25 let's reduce this guideline so we don't get confused so this is by how much we have dropped the radius and we will use a circle let's use another color so you can see it maybe a warmer one so we will use this for r2 which becomes now sweeps also through 90 degrees so we have our railing sweeping through another 90 degrees and then we can continue our center line so we, from the center and we have something nice here sweeping through almost 180 and now the next radius is also going to be a reduction of um, the radius so we will make a copy of this reduce by another inch 25 millimeters so we can also reduce this and also provide where the sweep is going to stop so let's use again let's choose a cooler color now again yeah maybe a green let's sweep it through 90 you have that and you have that so we continue the center line with our line type and it's looking good so we have that and next it also has to sweep through 90 degrees so we choose another radius let's use another warmer color so we use this as the center line now so we sweep through 90 degrees so we already have that but you can see that this one is already below the actual so we will use we will continue the lines which are continuing so let's go back and use this red one for the center line and sweep it through 90 and now you can realize that this is where we started from so we when when i hover over this circle we started from right here so we cannot continue from right here because this will be parallel to this blue line here which is not true for this volute stair what we need to do is actually reduce instead of reducing by a whole inch we will reduce by half that so let me use a guideline here and move this to halfway so i'll hover here to get the center line and we will reduce by a half of that so let's reduce this so we can see it and let's now draw another one let's choose another color take the solid line choose a lighter color and let's use uh, this one and let's go to the center which is here and we sweep it through 90 oh we need to go around yes and the center line we can pick that and draw it from the center so draw it from the here and sweep it through 90 
and the final one is going to also be by half an inch which is going to lead us to the center of this box which we have formed you realize we have a box Let me make it the blue color so you can see. So we have a box here and reducing this by half an inch is going to lead us to the center of this box. Let me reduce this. And now we can draw our final arc, which we can choose any other color and draw from the center. So you have that, so it sort of now comes into this. So let's take the center line and take it to the final point right there. So this is what we do have. So if I bring this, so let me bring a radio dimension here. I'll tweak a few things in order to make it visible. Let me change the units, options, project preferences, and dimensions. I put them in millimeters. Okay. So we have uh, the first radius, which is 150, like we st where we started from, that's R1. And R2 drops by 25, it becomes R125. And you can see that we have our new center right here. The next radius drops by 25 so we have our 100 which brings a new center right there and next we have R75 which brings to the next point to be here so we finally have this one right there which drops by half an inch to have a radius R63 and then finally we have this one as R50. So I hope that we now have a basic understanding of how this is and this is what we are going to use in the next section.